Hey, Bella Buddies. Thanks for watching. Okay, I have a featured seller Bolo video for you guys. I'm going to tell you where they got it, what they paid for it, and what they sold it for. And there are some big money Bolos in this video. It is fantastic. There are a lot that went for over $100 and a lot like oh, way over $100. Just amazing. Um, you definitely want to follow her on YouTube. Um, let me show you her YouTube channel. Let's start with that. Let's do that. All right. We have Danielle from Yard Sales and Dreams. She is a reseller of stuff and her channel is fantastic. She is definitely a bolo finder. You definitely want to check out her content. You will learn. She is, um, she's got some good stuff over there. So uh, definitely check it out. I'm going to just scroll for a minute and then we are going to dig in to her big money bolo items. All right, you guys ready? Ready to see some bolos? Prepare to be shocked. Yeah, that's what we'll say. Prepare to be shocked. The first item is this Ladro. I think I'm saying that right. Ladro Joyful Event Christian Nativity Scene Jesus Porcelain Figurine. All right, so here is the bottom. I believe it's pronounced Ladro, L L A D R O. And anything that is nativity, I almost always pick it up. This is just beautiful. And she has another one that she sold too that is just stunning. I mean, really, really, I can see why these go for so much. I mean, they're just really well made. Um, she got this in a storage bulk lot buy, so probably had about $5 on it, in it, and took, I'm getting tired, I'm starting to stumble all over my words, I'm so sorry, sold for $490. How beautiful is that? It's beautiful. And uh, the buyer paid shipping on that. The next item is this antique 1928 Puritan baby vendor jackpot trade stimulator with fortune gum front. No clue what all of that means, but this is what it looks like. It's an antique. It's very, very cool. And this came from Valley Thrift. She paid a hundred for it and took a best offer of 350. So I'm a chicken. I don't know if I would have bought this. Would you have bought the slot machine? Comment below. Let me know in the comments. Is it a slot machine vendor? I don't know. She doesn't have that. So maybe I'm calling it the wrong thing. All right. This Revel 1965 Ferrari model kit is new old stock. You guys, these old model kits, if you can get them sealed, they can be big money. So definitely look them up. And if you can't find comps and you can get it for the right price, I would say get it. And um, you'll probably do okay. So uh, this came from a bulk storage lot. Estimated she paid about $3 and it sold for $355 on auction. 39 bids, buyer paid shipping. The next item is this Louis Vuitton. Um, it's a charm. It's a keychain. Super, super cool. There's the um, actual brand on it. And they got this in a bulk storage lot. Estimate paid around $2 and sold for $250. I'm going to tell you that this store, if this is the storage lot that they paid $800 for everything, wow. Um, she said there's a video on it, so I definitely need to go and check that out. Amazing. This little vintage Meeby Toys Porsche, and it's M-E-B-E-T-O-Y-S, all one word. I've never heard of this brand. It says 912 diecast car made in Italy. Now that is cool. Huh. I'm definitely going to be on the lookout. I don't know if it's just going for so much because of the brand or if it's because it has the original box and packaging. I don't know. But it sold for $237.50 with 21 bids, buyer paid shipping. The next item is this W.L. Weller Kentucky Bourbon Whiskey Bub Bar Vintage 
chalkboard mirror. And this came from a yard sale, paid $4, and she sold it for $200 plus shipping. The next item is this BJ and the Bear. It's from 1981. It's a it's by Fleetwood, and it's a truck, and it's a, a model, a model truck here. And this came from a bulk buy lot, estimated paid about a dollar, and took a best offer of $185 plus shipping. That's amazing, for real. This new old stock GM Cadillac hood ornament. This came from a yard sale. She paid two bucks for it, you guys, and it sold for $155. The next item is this vintage 1955 original MG TF Car Club license plate topper automotive badge emblem. Those are the key words she used in the title. This was in a storage lot of stuff, so had about $2 in it, and it sold for $149.99 with the buyer paying the shipping. Next item is this AHM Mini Trains HO Scale Narrow Gauge Egger Bon Union Pacific Loco Western Union. That is a mouthful right there. Here it is. It's a train. It's a train and a track, guys. And, uh, Storage lot of stuff, paid about a dollar and sold for $133.50 on auction, 17 bids, buyer paid shipping. The next item is this vintage auto U of Louisville, Kentucky, Wildcats back skibble Converse NCAA poster. And I don't know if those are original signatures or if they are just a, like a print. Um... She put auto, so I wonder if that means autograph. Double autograph signed by former coaches. One is black print signature and the other is in the color Sharpie marker seen in picture. Hand numbered in pencil 54 of 245. Unused condition. Very cool. Uh, let's see, what'd she get that for? A state auction paid $3 and sold best offer for $99.99. The next item are these rare new old stock vintage Nike shoes. Uh, Lady Oceana original box swoosh. These came from a storage bulk lot, paid $3 and sold for $122.50 on auction, four bids, buyer paid shipping. Mary Kay, huge lot of discontinued beauty products. Miracle Mask. And Vintage Mary Kay can do very, very well. Um, I have sold the lipsticks before. There's uh, Downtown Brown, I think is the color. Does very well. Um, so the Mary Kay, she got at Valley Thrift for $9.99 and sold for $95 plus shipping. The next item is this Tamaya Terrell P34 six wheeler scale model kit made in Japan, sealed. And this probably came from a storage unit. Yep. Storage bulk lot paid about $2 and sold for auction style, $117.49 plus shipping. That storage unit was awesome. So this per Peruvian, Peruvian, I think is how you say it, connection knit sweater dress, baby alpaca blend. Uh, storage lot had about $3 in it and it sold for $115 and the buyer paid shipping. The next item is this, I love this, this vintage 1988 Susan Bristol pink sweater, Easter bunnies, uh, made in Hong Kong. And she shared this one at my Bolo live show, which is usually every Wednesday night at 10 PM Eastern standard time. I am taking April off, but, um, plan to come back after April. We're going to see how things go. I'm trying to get my eBay store back up to par because sales have taken a little dip because I've been uh, working on YouTube so much and not listing. I'm trying to get my new channel, Sourcing with Bolo Buddies, up and going. So if you have not subscribed to Sourcing with Bolo Buddies, definitely go check that out. That's where I'm posting most of my sourcing videos. But I'm also putting um, Bolo videos over there also. So definitely be sure to subscribe, like, comment, and share. All right, so this Susan Bristol came from a consignment store. She did pay up for this. She paid 20 for it, and it sold for 115 plus shipping. 
The next item is this Valentino V Perfume Spray. Spray for women. It is pre-owned and it came from a storage locker or a storage lot. Paid $2 and sold for $85 best offer buyer paid shipping. This is awesome. It's a Brooks Brothers plush stuffed dog. 100% wool, 24 inch store display. How cool is that? Uh, came from a storage lot, paid $2 and sold for 110 plus shipping. I love this. I think it is so cool. The next item she sold is this. It's that same thing, that Peruvian connection. And this is a cardigan sweater, came out of a storage lot for $2 and sold it for $100 buyer paid shipping. The next item are these gasoline uh, tumblers. So it's just like the, uh, I guess a glass with like, a, I don't know what it, what they call that, the print that goes over it. How cool is that? You can see the liquid. That's fun. Um, okay. These came from a storage lot, paid about $2 and sold for $85 plus shipping. The next item is this vintage photo booth. Two young sailors, heads close. They're like in a photo booth. You know how that goes. Um, and they sold for $75, paid a dollar at a flea market. And it's a World War II photo. So um, any World War II photo is going to have um, some value to it. So if you see those, definitely pick them up. But that one sold for $75. And... This is her store right here. So if you want to see what else she has listed, you can check this out. I will link it down in the description of the video. And um, I will also link her YouTube channel, but we're not done yet. She's got some vintage panties. Um, those are a bolo. By the way, I have a video, a category video on bolo panties. And I think she does too. So check that out. Um, these five items came from, um, she also sold them. 99 cents free shipping is what she started the auction at. These are from the um, 99 cent auction challenge that I did. There were 29 of us that did this. Basically, we had 10 items that we showed our viewers. And you guys picked the five that you wanted us to auction off. Um, these are the five that everyone picked for Danielle, and I'm going to tell you about them in just a second. All right. We are at 12 minutes. I didn't want the video to get too long. All right. So this is another one of those Lorado. Oh, now I'm saying it wrong. Ladro. Ladro. I always want to say like Lorado, like it's Western or something. Ladro. And it is amazing. I love these. I think they're beautiful. I really do. I think they're just really neat. And then this is the bottom. And I'm just showing you guys the pictures here because it's super cool. All right. So what she said about this, this figurine was just one item of a truckload that they were lucky enough to handpick from a storage unit. Opportunity knocked and we opened the door. And I did share this on one of the auction videos. So if that sounds familiar, that's where you heard it. She said they paid 800 for an entire truckload. So she's estimating that the one piece costs between two and $5. And she said she does have a video showing that day on her channel. This sold for $355, 40 bids, free shipping. All right, this vintage Star Wars 1978 Kenner sealed bagged Obi-Wan Kenobi Hong Kong toy figure. And the reason I did this, these five last, is because I did show these in the challenge video. So um, I didn't want you guys to see the beginning and think everything was a repeat. So uh, just these five. And she got this figure about eight to 10 years ago in northern Kentucky, close to Cincinnati. She went to a yard sale of a former Kenner employee that had worked there in the 70s and 80s. She had several tables of orange and black boxes of Star Wars toys. She picked one up and it was marked 1978. She asked how much and they said large boxes were 10, small boxes 5. She said she bought all of them that they had, about 20 boxes and um, two Darth Vader head cases and she threw the bagged figures in free. So I'm guessing this is a bagged figure 
and it sold for $168 with 28 bin, bids. So she pretty much got it free. The next item is this vintage Alpha Roma, Romeo, right? Romeo car model, Japan, new old stock sealed. And this Fendi perfume right here. These came from that same $800 unit. And the Fendi perfume sold for $93, 39 bids. And this uh, model car sold for $56.01 with 16 bids. The last item is this vintage World War II era photo album scrapbook. And I'm going to show you some of the other pictures because it's very, very cool. And you got the horse jumping there. And there is some writing on the pictures. I don't know if that decreases the value or increases it. Maybe. Who knows? Um, some people might like to know the, the history. Oh, look at the horses. Cool. Super cool. Okay, so this, she bought at a local yard sale. A fellow reseller that I know had this at his sale. I paid 30 for it because I absolutely love old photographs. I love buying them, enjoying looking at them, and selling them. Um, sold it for $99.01, 22 bids, and free shipping on that item. Again, head on over and give Danielle from Yard Sales and Dreams a sub. Um, let's get her to a thousand guys. She's at 504 when I did this video, but it's probably not going to share for a little bit because I've got the challenge videos I want to get up first. And I have a couple other featured seller videos and I now have my, um, members only video that I'm going to be doing once a month. So I only do three or four videos on this channel. So, um, I'm going to have to work this one in at some point. So I'm not sure which video she was talking about that shows where they go and pick up the storage unit. So you guys will kind of have to scroll through and uh, try to find that because I'm not sure. You might be able to type in um, storage unit or something like that into her search bar. I should have asked her before I did the video to send me the link to the video and then I could have looked at it and shared it with you guys, but I haven't watched it yet. So it definitely sounds like a awesome video. Um, oh, big profits are bust. We spent 800 on a bundle. Here it is, you guys. So you have to spend money to make money. She is right. So, but it sounds like she definitely scored on that haul. So go check that video out. All right, you guys, thank you so much for being here. Thank you for watching. Be sure to like, comment, subscribe, and share. Definitely go sub to Yard Sales and Dreams. And yeah, let me know what you think. Um, I feel like I was going to say something and I completely forgot. Oh, don't forget to head over to my new channel, Sourcing with Bolo Buddies. I've got a lot of new content over there. If you haven't checked it out yet, be sure to subscribe. And as always, thanks for watching.